Ma'am, sir, please don't go in that building today. They kill babies inside of that building. Come out here and let us talk to you before you go in there. Please don't let them hurt your baby this morning, Mom. My name is Darren Stead. I'm a pastor here in Florida at American Reformation Church, Assistant National Director of Operation Save America. We're Christians. And we come today in the name of Jesus. And we're here today because we love you and we care about you and we care about your baby. And we don't want you to go through with this decision today to take the life of that precious, innocent child that's growing inside of you. Sir, don't go in that place. They kill children inside of that building. We have come here today with the message of life, the message of hope that comes only through the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We have come here today to offer you help and hope the people inside of this building will try to persuade you that we're here today because we hate you, because we're hateful people. But it is actually them who hate you. It's actually them who hate your baby. We're here today because we care about you. We're here today to offer you help and hope. The people that are standing outside on this sidewalk today, we don't make any money for what we're doing out here. These people, this is a volunteer army out here. All of these people stand out here this morning in hopes of helping you. We have come today to provide you with whatever resources you need not to go through with this decision to kill your baby. What do you need? We will provide for your needs. What do you need? Do you need transportation back and forth to the doctor's appointments? We'll help with that. Do you need resources to be able to take care of your baby? Diapers, wet wipes, crib, whatever you need, we will help you. Do you need a community of people to come around you, to put an arm around you, and to show you as a woman and as a man how to be a mom and a dad? Do you need women, mom, to come around you and to help you and to support you and to love you, not just through your pregnancy, but into motherhood after pregnancy? We will help you. I don't know what situations or circumstances have brought you to this place today, but we are here this morning because we want to help you. We want to help you so that you don't have to go through with this decision to take the life of that innocent child that's growing inside of you. The people standing out here on this sidewalk today, we are here because we love you and we care about you. We are full of compassion that comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. We are full of care and concern for you and for your baby. And so we have come here today to plead with you to come out here and talk to us, to let us pray with you to let us tell you the rest of the story, to let us correct some of the lies that they're telling you inside of this building. Ma'am, sir, please don't go in that building today. They kill babies inside of that building. Come out here and let us talk to you before you go in there. Please don't let them hurt your baby this morning, mom. Dad, please come out here and let us talk to you today. I know that you can hear me on the other side of that door, and I don't know what circumstances brought you to this place today where you would consider taking the life of your own child, but whatever the circumstances are, we can help you. Please come out here and let us help you. Please let us pray for you. Please let us show you what your little baby looks like in the womb. Let us show you that that little baby has eyes and ears and fingers and toes, that that little baby is a human being created in the image of God. Please don't go through with this decision to take the life of that little child today. At least just please come out here and let us talk with you and share with you how we can help you. We have come today with a message not of judgment and condemnation, but we have come today with a message of hope and life. We have come today with a message of eternal salvation that can be found in Jesus Christ. We have come today with a message of the Good Shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need in Him. We have come today with a message of a good and loving and merciful God that will walk alongside of you through your pregnancy and help you bring that baby into this world and care for and provide for your needs. We are here today because we care about you and we love you and your baby. And we are pleading with you now, mom, dad, hear the sound of my voice as I plead with you this morning. Hear the sound of my voice, listen to me, allow your heart to be softened toward your child. Allow your heart to be softened toward the conscience that God has put in you. And please come away from this place and let us help you.
please let us help you. Let us come and walk alongside of you and don't go through with this decision to take the life of your baby this morning. Have you come here today because you're afraid that if you have this baby, you'll be ostracized by your family? We will be your family. Have you come here today because you were pressured by your boyfriend to be here? And you think if you have this baby, you're going to lose your relationship with him? Well, if you kill your baby today, it's going to harden your heart against your boyfriend anyway. And you're probably going to lose your relationship with him anyway. Is he pressuring you? Is he pushing you into this decision? Come and let us show you what true manhood looks like. Let us show you what men look like that care and provide for women and don't push them to slaughter their own children. Come out here and let us help you and walk alongside of you. Maybe you're here today, you've come to this place today because you, you have lots of problems in your life. And you think if you just take the life of your baby that all will be well with you. You think that if you just murder your own child today, that's gonna fix all of your problems. And I'm here to tell you today, it's not gonna fix your problems. I see the door open and I know that you can hear me now. This is not going to fix your problems. Please, moms and dads inside of that building, listen to me and come out here and let us help you. Maybe you've believed the lie that murdering your own child will make everything better. You'll be able to just get back to your life. You can just go back to trying to finish your college degree. You can just go back to partying on the weekends. You can just go back to doing whatever it was that you were doing before the inconvenience of this pregnancy. But listen to me, that is a lie. That is a lie. And maybe your belief in that lie is what's brought you to this place in your heart that that's not true though. If you take the life of your baby today, it is going to destroy your life. The judgment of God is going to come upon you. And the blood of that baby will call out to God for justice against you. Your conscience will be riddled and hardened and seared because of the decision that you made on this day. Please do not believe the lies that bring women to this place of taking their child. And please come away from this place and let us help you. Maybe you're here this morning not because your family will ostracize you or not just because you're your boyfriend is pressuring you or not just because you think all will be well with you but maybe you've come here today just out of your own selfish desire to take the life of this child maybe you've come here today believing religious lies maybe you know that it's wrong to murder your child but you're thinking i'll just go through with this decision and i know god is a a good and gracious god and he'll, he'll forgive me I know it's wrong to murder my baby, but I'm in a difficult spot and, and I'll just kill my baby and God will just forgive me. Friend, that's not the way that it works. If you harden your heart against God today, he may not grant you another day of repentance. If you harden your heart against God today, he may very well let you just continue to harden your heart until you work out, walk off into eternal damnation and judgment. Don't go through with this decision today. Don't go through with the decision to take the life of this little baby.